Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are all items that I have picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions, and I flipped them for money. So um, I should say I flipped them for a profit, not for money. Uh, so I bought them low and I sold these items for $35 or less. These items sold on eBay. I do cross post all my items to Mercari and Poshmark, but this is an eBay only video. If you'd like to see Poshmark sales and Mercari sales, I also do videos for those platforms. I do use List Perfectly to cross post my items. If you would like to check that out, how I do it, I have a demonstration video down in the description of the video. You can use uh, List Perfectly referral coupon code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word to get 30% off your first month if you decide you want to try it out. Um, I love it. It saves me time and time is money. So definitely go check that out. And if you guys watch it there, um, if you have questions, you can put it in the comments of that video and I'll be happy to check that out and answer if I know the answer to it. So, all right, you guys, let's get started with some Bolo items. And again, these are bread and butter items that I sold for $35 or less. They're items that I feel like are probably going to be easier to find than those big money bolos, but I do have big money bolo videos also, so definitely check those out. All right, the first item I sold is this Disney Infinity. It's their game pieces for the Infinity game, and this is the Wreck-It Ralph figures, and I went, went ahead and put these two figures together. I sold these for $15. The buyer was all in for $22.14. I got these at a garage sale and a big lot of these. So I probably have 50 cents to a dollar in these two figures. The next item is pretty cool. It came from a thrift store and anything new old stock, I usually pick up if the price is low. Um, I got this for 75 cents at a thrift store, sold it for $24. The buyer was all in for $31.67. It's not like a high-end toy. It's by Greenbrier and somebody was looking for it. So 24 bucks, I think that was a really good, um, really good flip. I was excited about this one. The next item I sold is this Stetson cologne and aftershave. I got this at an estate sale for $1. It sold for $30 and the buyer paid the shipping. Uh, perfume, cologne, they do have to ship ground. So please make sure you do that if you're selling these items. The next item I sold are these baby cows. I do think that these are Barbie. Um, that is what my research did show. So I did put Barbie in the title and I sold these for $12. The buyer was all in for $18.02. I got these at a thrift store and my cost of goods came to about 10 cents because they were mixed in with a bunch of stuff. The next item my husband picked up at a garage sale and he paid a dollar for it. Uh, one thing I told him, I said, if you're at garage sales, look for dinosaurs. And he found this guy. It sold super fast for a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $36.25. So definitely a bolo item there. That guy did really well and sold really fast. The next item I sold came from an estate sale. I had about a quarter in it and it's this angel playing an organ and it's actually a wind up music box. Now the arms are missing on the two angels on the top. So that is why I sold it cheaper because it is defective. Um, the angels don't have arms. Uh, I, I don't know if somebody can try to repair that or I mean, I guess it kind of looks like their arms could be tucked in. It's still very cute. And I took a best offer of $16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these little vending machine football team mugs. Uh, I thought these were going to sell quicker, but they did not. They did not sell fast at all. Uh, I ended up taking a best offer of $20 and the buyer was all in for $32.09. I've had these so long that I forget where I got them. Uh, I think it was a garage sale and I think I got the helmets at the same garage sale. They were long tail also. So I don't know if I would advise getting these or not because they took so long to sell, but um, it's a what sold video. So I'm going to tell you the good and the bad. 
The next item that sold is this vintage mini cast iron stove pencil sharpener. Um, whenever I find little pencil sharpeners like this that are cool, I just put dollhouse in the title because this item could easily be put into a dollhouse and be a really cute featured item in that dollhouse. Um, it doesn't have to be used as a pencil sharpener, so it can have multi functions. Um, I sold this for $13.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. And that one, I can't remember where I got that one either. This Ninja Turtle is Donatello. He is about 12 inches tall. He's from 2002. So he's kind of a bigger turtle. I picked this up at a garage sale and I sold him for $22.50. The buyer was all in for $38.03. Um, I bought a bunch of turtles at a garage sale, so I'm guessing I had a buck or less in this. The next item I sold are these wood peg dolls. Apparently, they're for like educational purposes. Um, I couldn't identify the brand, so I just went ahead and sold them unbranded. Sold these for $13.50. Uh, the buyer was all in for $21.09. Those came from a thrift store and I probably had about a buck in those, I would say. The next item is this little pet shop. It's called the Teeniest Tiniest Mini Compact and it's got the three little figures in it. Not the greatest condition. They've got some scuffs, definitely played with. Got this out of a mystery box and I sold it for $16.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Coca-Cola Barbie. I got two of these on the same day. They both sold super fast. This one I bought for $5 and it sold for $32 all in. The buyer was all in for $43.59 and the buyer paid the shipping. This one was cool. I did pay up a little for this. I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. It did sell for $22.50. The buyer was all in for $30.99. It's a Johnny Lightning American Flashbacks in time speed racer. It's just like two little cars and uh, some mini figures. So pretty cool set, still in the original packaging. Again, I will pay a little more if it's in the original packaging. The next item are these Calico Critters Red Roof Cozy Cottage Starter House Replacement Railings. I went ahead and took a best offer on these of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked these up at a thrift store and I have about a quarter in them. The next item sold really, really fast. Definitely a bolo item. It's Shiva or Shiva oil paint. They're paint sticks. And I have no idea what these are, but I picked them up. I'm like, they look cool. I'm going to buy them. And again, they sold really quick for $18. Buyer was all in for $27.86. And I paid $3 for those at a garage sale. The next item I sold is this vintage dollhouse miniature bathroom scale. Super cute. Got it at an estate sale and a huge bulk lot of uh, vintage uh, dollhouse items. And I sold this for $14 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these mixed lot of doll clothes and accessories. Um, I did not feel like trying to figure out which outfit went with which doll. And Google Lens is good, but it's not that good. Uh, so I just didn't want to take the time to mess with it. So I just put it in a lot. Those items came out of a mystery box. I went ahead and took a best offer of 20. The buyer was all in for 2650 on that. The next item is these cabbage patch outfits. This was a part of the thrift challenge where I had to go into the thrift store and buy five items in 15 minutes. Um, this was a clothing doll lot and I decided to auction it. I did put a video down in the description showing exactly what was in the lot. I was hoping this was going to go for more than my uh, just getting one bid, but that's okay. It sold for $29.99. I bought a big bag of clothes. It had clothes. It had Cabbage Patch shoes. Um, I sold the shoes for $60. Um, it had some miscellaneous accessories, and then I listed those separately. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can check out the video. I'm trying to remember. We hashtagged it because it was a challenge video. What did we hashtag it? I think it was thrift five in 15. I think that was the, the hashtag. But anyway, you can also search it on my channel, but you can see what else I got. But this sold for $29.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. 
The next item is this Barbie. And if I remember correctly, it was, yeah, in the original box. And I sold this for $28 and the buyer was all in for $38.81 and I got it at a garage sale for $3. These butterflies are brass wall hanging butterflies. I got these at a thrift store for a dollar and they sold pretty quickly for $16 best offer. The buyer was all in for $23.33. This I picked up at a um, discount store. It's called Bargain Hunt. I cannot remember what I paid for it. Um, it was like a super sale day. They were having like major discounts. So I got it probably for $10 or less. Retail arbitrage, you're going to pay a little more for items than you would probably at a garage sale or a thrift store. So um, I did sell this for $33 best offer. The buyer was all in for $47.59. And I was really hoping, honestly, to get more for this, but um, I was just trying to move it. So I went ahead and took the offer of 33. The next item is this Care Bear Talking Amigo Bear. Picked this up at a garage sale for a buck and it sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this uh, Bar Caddy. And this is a vintage Bar Caddy. This came out of a mystery box that a subscriber sent me as a gift. And it's really cool. I had no idea what it was and I had to use Google Lens and I figured it out and it's a bar caddy. So um, this came from Krista. Krista, thank you again so much for the box. So I did sell this for $15. And I do have an unboxing on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you wanna see what else she sent me. I think it says Buddy Mail in the title. Again, that's on my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. Uh, sold this for 15, buyer was all in for 22.35 on that bar caddy. All right, the next item is this vintage Halloween Skulls Glow in the Dark tie. Thought this was gonna be a big money bolo. I gotta tell you guys, I thought it was super cool. Kind of looks like it's got the scream, screaming skull on it. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was going to do better, but it didn't. It only sold for $14.99. The buyer was all in for $21.78. That came from a garage sale, a bulk buy of Halloween items. So I probably had like 50 cents, 25 cents in it. The next item are these vintage fringe moccasins, girls size 12, cute shoes, came from a garage sale, paid a buck, sold them for $24, best offer, $33.02, all in for $33.02. All right, you guys, so this is a handheld fan. It's like an advertising, and it's super, super cool. Cool. Gosh, I can't talk tonight. Um, yeah, it's just a vintage uh, ephemera. That's what we'll call it. It's ephemera. And I can't remember where I got this. I think I picked it up at a garage sale. Probably had less than a dollar in it. Um, I'm trying to think where else I would have got it, but... It's just such a random thing and I don't recall. It's not ringing a bell. It did sit for a long time before I listed it. So maybe that's why I can't remember. But I sold it for best offer of 20. The buyer was all in for $27.35. The next item I sold is this Bob the Builder Talking Muck the Bulldozer toy truck. Uh, I, took, I sold this for $14.80. It came out of a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Emerald, I think that's how you say it, steamer strainer insert. And yeah, kitchen stuff is not really my thing, but I've been watching the homeschooling picker and she does so awesome with kitchen items. And I saw this and it was only a dollar and I'm like, okay, that looks kind of fun. I'm going to get that. And I will tell you, it sold super, super fast for $17.02. The buyer was all in for $30.45. The next item I sold is this Briar Horse. This came out of my vintage toy box from Auctions For You. I would have priced it higher, but it did have some scuffs and marks on it, and I did not want to take the time to clean it up. So I went ahead and took a best offer of $12 on that, and the buyer was all in for $18.60. 
The next item that sold is this Barbie dog and cat figure. They are little bobbleheads. They're plastic figures. They're super cute. They are vintage. Sold these for $18.49 and the buyer was all in for $25.15. Um, honestly, I don't remember if that was a garage sale, a mystery box or a thrift store, but I my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. So this is the vintage 1973 Mattel Sunshine Family Baby. Um, the hair is a little bit of a mess. I know that you can reroute Barbies, so I imagine somebody maybe is going to reroute this. But um, yeah, it sold for a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid the shipping and I was just happy to see it go. It came with a lot of other items and I'm glad I took the time to list it because 12 bucks is 12 bucks. All right, you guys. Those are my 31 bread and butter bolo items, items you can be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for decent profits. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.